Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 10th of 2023. Well, it is titled Hidden Orion from Webb. So what do we see here? Well, here we'll actually see two images from the James Webb Space Telescope looking in the direction of the Orion Nebula. Now, the Orion Nebula is a prominent star forming region relatively close to us. And in fact, one of the nearest large star forming regions that we see. And within it, we are stars are in the process of formation. So what we see here is an, the first image we're looking at right now is an infrared image looking at the little bit of red light plus the nearer infrared light nearer infrared light. Now near infrared light means it is near to the red portion of the spectrum. So it's just a little bit longer wavelengths than what we can see. And what we're seeing here is actually a chance to look through the Orion Nebula. The longer wavelengths are better able to penetrate and give us a view into this nebula and see the stars that are forming. And we can see the bright stars of the trapezium very close to the center there. Those are the ones that are actually powering the Orion Nebula. Those that group of hot stars is what energizes everything within the nebula that we see. Now we also can look at this in the further infrared a little bit further out away. And when we do that, we see a little bit different view. And you still see if you match up, you can see that the stars are still there. Some appear a lot brighter because they are many times cooler and emitting a lot more of the longer wavelength infrared light and others will become fainter. So you can see that kind of combination as we look and go back and forth between these two images. Now when we look at the longer wavelength light we can also see some of the darker dusty areas that start to get a little bit denser. Now of course the density of material does not change but what we see does change and that means that what we're seeing is that there is a little more material there that is cooler and it is giving off that type of energy so we're able to see it a little bit better and dust such as this around the Orion Nebula can more easily be seen at those longer wavelengths. So the longer wavelengths can penetrate some of the dust. But when you get to dust at just the right temperature for what you're looking at, it will actually become more prominent. And we can see that as we look at these images as well. So here we get to see the star forming region of the Orion Nebula as imaged by the James Webb Space Telescope. So that was our picture of the day for October 10th of 2023. It was titled Hidden Orion from Webb. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.